Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Malke bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And I'm bringing you um, principles based on a prostitute, a prostitute's principle. And I like to call it the Rahab rule. In the book of Joshua, I stated the other time, in the book of Joshua, there is a story there, Joshua chapter 5, I think 13 to uh, 15, and then 6, 1 to 19. There, there, there's a story there about a woman. I mean, especially in the chapter 6. Her name was Rahab. And Rahab was, uh, Rahab holds some fascination for me. A prostitute who traded in the flesh of men. And the Bible said, I mean, something spectacular happened to her. This Rahab was miles ahead of the city in which she lived. And this Rahab found her way into God's hall of fame in the book of Hebrews chapter 11. When God was talking about men of faith who have impressed him. One of those men of faith was uh, Abraham, another was uh, David, another was David, blah, blah, blah. I mean, God is mentioning powerful names, powerful names. And in that spot was Rahab, the prostitute, a woman who has room for all men, a woman who has made room for all men, but she made room for the things of God. So here comes the Rahab role for this morning. I'd like to caption this morning's message as, wall tops or city cages that means we have a choice between wall tops or city cages now here's the principle for Rahab one of the most powerful things I found out about Rahab that which fascinated God that which drew the attention of God and it is so pertinent to us in the coming year is that Rahab the Bible says Rahab lived on top of the wall Rahab lived on top of the wall whilst all other people live in the city but Rahab lived on top of the wall. Now, by virtue of Rahab living on top of the wall, number one, she saw uh, outside the city, she saw the approaching uh, army of uh, Israel under Joshua, and then she also saw, I mean, she saw the confidence and the faith of the people who were coming outside, uh, outside the city of Jericho, and she also saw the fear of the people living in the city. But Rahab was living on top of the wall. Now, living on top of the wall was not just for uh, purposes of her city, seeing what was coming outside the city, but she also saw what was taking place in the city. And for me, it's a very, very important thing. Now, the wall, living on top of the wall, is living in, 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 a, in a position of intercession, living in a prayer position, living in a position of intercession. And you see, Habakkuk said something in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1. He said, I will stand upon my watch and then I will see what God is going to say to me. That means he is going to stand on top of the wall where the watchtower was. And when he stands there, he is going to have a prophetic indi indication of what God is about to do. He's going to have a prophetic insight into what God is about to do. Living on top of a wall is a place of intercession. And you see, Rahab was there. It's a place of prayer. Rahab was there and by virtue of a prayer she came into revelation as to the approaching army and said these are people of God these are the right people these are the people I need to make connections with these are the victorious army she saw beyond the fear of the city she saw opportunity beyond the fear she saw opportunity, it, it was, uh, whatever was going on the Bible said those who were living in the city they were living in cages of fear they were living in cages of fear, surrounded by walls that are going to come down, haunted by the thought of a, 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 an army that was coming, an approaching army, haunted by the power of God that was coming. And they chose to live inside the city. But Rahab said, I'm going to live above fear. I'm going to live above intimidation. I'm going to live above doubt. I'm going to live above unbelief. I'm going to live above crisis. I'm going to be on top of the wall, not by any other thing, but by prayer. Rahab said, I'm not just staying on top of the wall. See, 
she stayed on top of war, but she began to intercede for her family. You have a choice to live in cages of fear. You have a, a choice to live there, or you have a choice to rise up above. I choose to be on top of the wall rather than to be living in cages of fear. They were living in Jericho and they were living in fear. But Rahab said, no. But I see the army that is coming. I see it as an opportunity for my advancement. I see it as an opportunity for God to do something in my life. Listen, uh, a year, th there's a year coming. We, we are, we are, uh, we are uh, assailed by all thoughts and by all fears and by all, by all sorts of news. But I choose to live on top of the wall. Why? Because I'll stand upon my watch and I will, I will raise prayer. I'll raise prayer for this nation. I'll raise prayer for my family. I'll raise prayer for my church. I'll raise prayer for my loved one. That is if you are included. But I am going to live on top of the wall. I'm not going to live in fear. Rahab said, in living in the city is just cages of fear. But living on top of the wall gives me a fresh vista, gives me a fresh opportunity, gives me a fresh scenario, gives me a fresh bird's eye view of what God is about to do. So you have a choice to live in fear or to live on top of the wall. Others chose to live inside the city. And inside the city was pandemon uh, pandemonium. Inside the city was a pandemic. Inside the city was fear. Inside the city was uh, people who were nonplussed. But on top of the wall was great eyesight and great opportunity. What would you choose to leave? On top of the wall? Or inside the cages of the city. A lot is going on around and many things are happening. But you know what? I will stand upon my watch and I will see not what men are saying, but I will see what God is saying. That was what Habakkuk said. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1. I choose. Right now, you know, as, we, as we prepare for the year that is ahead, I am standing at the position of prayer. I'm standing at the position of intercession. I'm bombarding the gates of heaven. I'm storming the throne room of God. And I'm walking into the throne room. And I say, give me 2021. Give me 2021. Put a song of victory in 2021. Where would you choose to be? On top of the wall? Or in the cages of the city? Living in fear. I choose to be on top with intercession and prayer. The choice is yours. See you later.